Hey everyone, I thought I would come in here. Um, we just finished a Wednesday uh, grind workout and I just had it in my heart to come and talk to you guys about a couple of things. I did a, a Facebook Live in one of my customer support groups yesterday to talk about this very same thing. And then um, today I was so proud of the women um, at the grind workout because um, it's raining here, right? It is raining, raining. I wonder if I can flip my camera. I can't flip my camera. Anyways, it was raining. So they all woke up at four something, looked outside their door and said, it's raining. Should I go and work out in the rain? And let me tell you, I think it was like 12 of them showed up to work on there. We only had a couple who didn't show up and I have a feeling it wasn't because of rain. Um, they had other issues. But this just brings me to my point of what I want to talk to you guys about. They still showed up because they're honoring and enjoy the process of getting to their goals, right? And a lot of people come in and say, okay, I want to lose 10 pounds. I got to lose 10 pounds. I got to lose 10 pounds. 10 pounds, 10 pounds. I got to lose 10 pounds. Oh my God, my jeans don't fit. I got to lose 10 pounds. I got to lose 10 pounds. And here's the thing. They're so fixated on the 10 pounds that they're not putting the focus on where it needs to go, which is the work to get the 10 pounds off. And so the work to get the 10 pounds off is number one, your nutrition, right? Making sure you're eating the right foods, making sure you're planning, um, you know, making sure that you're um, prepared for busy days, you're drinking your water, all those things. And then if you choose to work out, exercise, move your body. It might just be as simple as going for a walk every single day. It might be just as simple as following a video on your YouTube or your um, Netflix or whatever. There's all kinds of crazy videos out there showing up in the rain in the workouts. And when you know and you honor and enjoy the process and the journey more and you focus on those things than those 10 pounds, it's going to happen. It's magically going to happen crazy, but it does guys. It's like magic, right? If you could just focus on, okay, the end result is going to be this, but in order for me to get this, I'm going to focus on making sure I set my alarm every night, making sure I have my workout clothes ready, making sure I have my meals prep, making sure I have my gallon of water ready to go, right? Um, those are the things that you have to honor and focus on. Guys, when you see champions and when you see super successful people, they are not fixated on the end result. They are so laser focused on the process to get there. They're so, their mindsets is like for billionaires and millionaires, they have a wealth mindset. So their focus and their thought process is always, what am I gonna invest in? What do I need to do today? Um, and then for those who are athletes, they get up, they work out, they do their thing, they eat and they honor that and they focus so hard on that little step every single day to get them there. So I want you to think to yourself, have you been struggling? Have you been struggling with, oh my God, I gotta lose these 10 pounds. Oh my God, I gotta lose weight. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Oh my God, I need this. Oh my God, I need this. And you haven't done anything to get there or you do. And because you don't have those immediate results, you're back on focusing the end result and not focusing on the things that get you there. So I want you to take a look at where your head is right now, what you've been struggling with, and then I want you to say, what are the little things I need to do to make those changes? Okay, guys? If it's you wanna run a 5K, then grab an app, there's amazing apps out there, do a couch to 5K, and every day it's gonna tell you to do something small to get to that end result. It doesn't say, wake up and run a 5K, go! <laughs> it doesn't say that. My neighbors are gonna freak out because I'm yelling here. Um, it doesn't do that, right? When you want to lose weight and you want to track your food and macros and you go into like my fitness pal or something, you put it in, it doesn't say, awesome, you're going to lose 10 pounds today. No, it says, this is what you did today. You hit your goal today. High five. You hit your goal today. High five. Tomorrow, you're going to hit your goal again. Tomorrow, high five. And you're going to do it again the next day. High five. And again, the next day, high five. And next, you know, 30 days later, what happened? You lost 10 pounds, right? <laughs> and so you have to focus on the things you need to get there. Okay. And so just to talk about focus, cause everyone is like, Oh my God, now I got to work out. I got to eat. I got to drink my water. I got to do this. Oh my God, it's so overwhelming. I got so busy. My work is stressful. Ah, right. And it just like, because that was me guys. When I started my journey, I, there was three things um, that I was told to do. I was told to eat right. Okay. I was told to fix my mindset and I was told to move my body. Okay. 
And um, if you guys ever know, I got a Project U going on that focuses on five M's, which is mindset, meals, movement, meditation, and money, okay? So if you're curious about those, go to my profile and uh, you'll see my Project U there. It's for women right now. Um, it's a beautiful thing. But anyways, I was told to focus on those three things. I was so overwhelmed with the idea of planning all my foods, fixing my head, and then moving my body. Um, I decided at the beginning of my journey to focus on two things because that would just get me out of overwhelm. And what I focused on was my relationship with food. Okay, so I got into planning my food. I got into really understanding why that food was serving a purpose in my body. And then I had to fix my relationship with myself, which was my mindset. And I did that, guys, for six months. That's all I did. I did not exercise. I went for a couple of walks. Um, I don't, I encourage you to move. I encourage you to move. Uh, but for me, that's what I did because I had such a bad relationship with myself and food. It was terrible. And so every day I was like, okay, Helen, today we're going to hit all your meals. I have it all planned. We're going to do that today. We're going to drink eight bottles of water. And I would set the eight bottles of water on my desk. And that would be my little goal for the day. And I celebrated that. And I celebrated, yes, I got my water in because water's hard to get in guys. Sometimes water's really hard to get in. And I celebrated that I didn't eat the popcorn in the office. And I celebrated that I ate all my snacks. And I celebrated that I took the time to plan my meals on Sunday. And I celebrated all those little things, all those little things. I celebrated the nights that I didn't go in my pantry at 3 a.m. to go for a snack. I celebrated those. And what happened is that little thing is I started to get really proud of myself. And it didn't matter what my end goal was, guys. I had like 100 pounds to lose. And I couldn't think about the 100 pounds. If I thought about the 100 pounds, then I would feel like, oh my God, this is going to take forever. What I did is I focused on those tiny little things to get me there. So I'm going to tell you, promise me today, you're going to write your end result goal. And then you're going to go underneath it. And you're going to say, what do I need to change today to get there? What's the one thing I need to change to get there? There was another amazing lady um, did a live and I listened to it a few days ago and she talked about the one degree of change, one small degree of change. If you're on an airplane and that airplane was going home to Canada, right? And it changed one degree. The plane's gonna end up somewhere entirely different, right? Entirely different. If you don't make one little change, you're gonna head right to the same place over and over and over and over again. But you make one little change and it's gonna be somewhere totally different. So find what that little change is for you guys. If it's water, if you find that you're not, if you're like sluggish and not moving and you have headaches all the time, chances are you need more water in your life, right? If you're exhausted, chances are you're eating like crap. So fix it, right? If you're not running or not moving and your body aches, maybe moving a little bit, whatever it is, find that little change for you guys today and please honor and be so proud and happy and get on social media, whatever you need to do, you know, pat yourself on the back, you know, do those things and honor the small little process. Today, these ladies honored their process and they enjoy the process because they showed up in the rain and it made me so happy to see them. I really, if you check my stories, I was questioning who was gonna show up today. But they honor and they love the process. So they showed up in the rain. Are you willing to show up in the rain? Look, I'm all soaked here. So I hope this helped you guys. Sometimes a little kick in the butt might help, but this is what it is. You're gonna be in constant, constant mode of the end goal. And it's gonna be there every single day until you decide to figure out what the plan is, what the small little change is, and stick to that small little change through hell or high water, you stick to it because you are not gonna get immediate results. But what's gonna happen is that you're gonna to start to get some return on investment into that time that you put in. That return on investment on your better nutrition, that return on investment for that moving that body, that return on investment for adding that water. You're gonna to start to see it. And when you start to see it, that's where motivation kicks in. You could be inspired to start something, but motivation comes in when you're in the do, when you're doing something consistent, then you're motivated to keep going. You know, people always ask me when I was doing physique training, Helen, how do you get up at three o'clock in the morning and move? I was just motivated because I was doing, I was doing, I was doing, I was doing, I was doing. And I didn't think about my end result. I just thought about the process and doing my best in the process. So I hope that guys helps you. You guys have an amazing day. And I want you to question yourself. Am I enjoying the process? What is my process? And when am I going to start? Today. Bye, everybody. I hope you're not out there making an excuse. Love you.